Man, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know how we missed this story. January 24th, five, six officers. They ain't really told us how many yet. But they said they broke into the house, tortured two men. What is going on still in our country today? Stay tuned mm. on the phone. We're going to talk about this. On the phone. Hey, first of all, first of all, I'm stopping, stopping Hollywood. You think I wrong? Like to know. Welcome back, welcome back. Make sure you comment down below. Um, man, this is sad. Like. People you think that's supposed to protect you, uh, breaking and entering into your house and torturing you. Let's think about mm. that. Right, right. How you feel about this in the comment? I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Man, sharpshooter, how you? How, how do you feel about this? Like to protect Oh. It's time for this to stop going on. It's time to stop. You tired. It's time to stand up. Right, right. Justice needs to be served. Yes, I feel you all the way. I feel you. I'm I, I'm with you. Um and these are Rankin County deputies in Mississippi, Brandon, Mississippi. All right, they illegally broke into the home, tortured two men, Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker. Okay, they literally tortured these guys for two hours. All right, they're saying this reports that they say 90 minutes, but this attack went on for two hours. They tased the man even brought out a sex toy and started playing with him. This is sad. One deputy stuck a gun in Michael Jenkins' mouth and shot him, causing a array of face problems. And they even had to remove his tongue. He cannot even talk right now. Mm. This is sad. And then really Very sad. they didn't really just fire the people or report the people names. So we don't even know if they got everybody that was involved. Yeah, this is sad, sharpshooter. The government needs to do something about this. This town to be taken over and on the investigation yes yes and what was real weird was we went to the reviews we need to we need to go back to the reviews because we went to the reviews on on this county um ranking county and most everybody said this county needs to be investigated by the FBI, by the government, by the feds. They said this town is racist. They said go the long way around if you have to drive through this town. They have a special spider web for blacks. This town is not the town you go to at the dark. It is not. And I, I feel you. I'm I'm with you, sharpshooter. I feel like this town needs to be taken over. Period. One hundred percent need to be taken over for investigation. Uh we've been seeing this too many times before. And they know what's happening in, in America is happening. And they ain't doing enough about it. It's time for them to stand up. They need to go up to the president. 
Yes. They need to send somebody out there and take over that town because they know what done happened. Yes. Yes. They know what happened. And what was confusing in the report, they said that even a couple officers resigned. So, does that mean they still get their retirement? 100%. And, and this is what's going on. They think they're being smart. Yes. Uh, investigation needs to... A whole bunch of people need to get run down for this. Yes. And for this to be going on for years and years and years while everybody turned the other eye. This is sad. This is real sad. Real sad. Let's let's bring let's bring up the these reviews. Oh. Man. They stuck a gun in this man's mouth. Just just imagine that for a second. Somebody that's there to protect and serve you come into your house. Stick a gun in your mouth and tell you whatever he's going to tell you, and then he shoots you. He leaves you there to die. Do you understand that uh, if that gun wouldn't have went off, these people probably getting done like this all the time and just not get reported. The only reason why they had to report this is that gun went off. Man. Other than that, they probably stick it down there and threw it out of court and would have act like nothing ever happened. Man. You're right. You are absolutely right. I'm sorry to see that young man go through what he do to, I mean, that he, that he don't deserve to go through. But at the same time, this might be what catch them up and that make all of them have to pay for all the things they've ever done in that county. Yes. Yes. Let's uh, from the sound of it, they've been doing it many times before because we got too many people reporting about it. So it's done happened before. Yeah. This just got them caught up. Yeah. Yeah. This is getting all the eyes on them. This right here. They done messed up. And they show messed up. They messed up. They messed up bad. This it's time for everybody to stand up, send stuff to your uh, uh, president, the governor. So yeah. send, send, send the Chris that y'all won't think something to happen. Because it's time for them to stop you. Yes. Yes. We cannot let this happen. You're talking about all the people of this city pays these people. This is where your tax dollars going. So people who want to protect and serve you and control you, lock you up, do whatever they want to you. Basically, just you paying for somebody to kill you. Basically. Now I'm I'm not I'm not with taking the money from all the police department. We have some good police that's out there protecting people, doing their job, doing what they signed up to do. And then we have these guys from Rankin County. I don't, I don't get it. Do you think they're part of the Ku Klux Klan? Of course I do. Man, because, yeah, this is... This is Mississippi we talking about. Come on, man. We understand what's going on here. But people want to act like they blind to it. They want to play like they blind and they don't see. But they know in their heart what's going on, but they don't care until somebody 
to affect one of them. Then yeah. they care. Yeah, then they care. Then they care. Let me see. Let me. Let me. Sad part. This is what makes you. I love. Uh, what 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 I want to uh, support the police department. Support the police. But this right here will make you. It hurt. You, you know, it, it, it's the same way they have uh, blind eyes to things. The same way they affect the their affection of what they're doing. Make the. Uh, black communities do not want to support them, and that's why they talk about them the way that they do. Because when it comes time for them to stand up, they don't. And then mm-hmm. they make calls to you to call you home to say, "Can you can you help the police department with this? Can you help them with that?" We want to give them the support, but give the same support back. The same calls you get. Call them. Y'all need to have meetings with their cops and tell them that they got to change things. Right? That is real. Yes. They need to change. Let me pull this. Let me pull these reviews on here. Yes, sir. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So we got one from nine months ago. It say this place is corrupt and wicked. They throw you in jail. And if they, and if you can't bond out, you sit for up to nine months waiting on the indictment without speaking to a lawyer. Officers won't give you a number for the public defender's office or a number for the bail's bondsman. If you're not from Rankin County, stay away because they will try to make an example out of you. Just for not being a local, and God forbid you're any skin color other than white, they will treat you like trash. God have mercy on these wicked people. That's from Zach Green. And 72 wow, people like that re- review. You, they know it by Rankin County. Yeah. How big is this county, man? How big is this place? Man, let's 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 pull up how big Rankin County. Let's pull up. It 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 cannot be that that big. It cannot be that big. Rankin County. Let's see the area is eight hundred and six miles. Founded in 1828. It's right there by Jackson. Actually, um, Jackson is a part of Rankin County. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, Langford, Pearl. Yeah, it's right there off 20. It's right there off 20. As you're going through Jackson. I'll let to the right of that. Yeah. Yeah, before you before you get the pine bluff. Yeah, that's Rankin County right mm-hmm. there. Matter of fact, I, I, I didn't drove through her. I mm-hmm. I didn't drove through her before. I have too, so that 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 let me know I showed it. I'm glad to know now. Yeah, but it's something about it because, you know, you're driving through the city and once you get to the middle of the city and then you're a little bit out the city, then you really just pass it. You know, it, as soon as you get into Jackson, you, you pass up Vicksburg and you get into Jackson, you right there. That's Rankin County. You know, and, and what was weird about it, when I was in Mississippi, I saw a lot of homes that said, like, plantation. Like, so I, I just knew this wasn't the spot that I was supposed to be in. This was the spot I remember my granddaddy talking about vividly. No driving at night. If you do, don't stop. Just keep going. Yeah, these, this is definitely one of those places. 
How did you feel um when when you go to Mississippi? Do it feel like a welcoming place to you? Uh no. Uh some parts of it do. Some parts are wonderful. Yeah. Like definitely the the people. You know. But then, you know, I've seen black people in parts of Mississippi in them sticks. That just like look at me like you're not supposed to be here. Like I feel chills coming over my body. Like, watch out! Like, one hundred percent, and one hundred percent. You you know that it's a it's a weird feeling, not just for you, but people who stay there. They let you know, man. Hey, that's the place. That part of town you don't want to be at, and uh. We see now, and we want to see things change. So it may be a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is from four years ago. Now remember, um, this event, the the stuff that happened, um, to Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker that happened January twenty fourth of this year. Right? This review is from four years ago. I drive trucks okay. and these police officers sit in the median with their high beams shining through travelers' vehicles, blinding you as you pass. They stopped me Monday as I was going home to Texas from a family reunion. They profiled me because I was black in a Dodge Charger with Texas plates. They embarrassed me and my wife in front of my children. I'm a comeback veteran, and I'm ashamed to defend this country to come home and be harassed because of my skin color. I, I, I'm also going to file a complaint with the DOJ through my military connections because the highway harassment needs to stop. You know all these things. Watch this. That, that happened when in 20 what? Man, that happened four years ago. So what, that's 2019? Yeah, so 18, 19, Kabbalah, Kabbalah. But one thing about it is, you see, this happened after all that. So, like you say, he probably reported, everybody reporting, everybody let them know about it. They are not changing. This was them now. This the representative showing you they're not changing. So now somebody now almost lost their life, lost their speech, can't talk no more. They got shot all in the mouth, played with, done any kind of way because they are not changing. And since they're not changing, they still putting corrupt people in there because they got to co- take the corruption out so they can change it. So until they get that corruption out of there, it's going to continue to be corruption. That's the problem. Yes. 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 And and we all got to stand up for these counties that's out here like that and get these people up out of here. That's why we got to vote. We got to vote. Or else, uh, they just going to make laws and we're going to be blinded. By all this news they call news. Sharpshooter, you got something to say before we get up out of here? Yeah, I just want to say, man, bless the uh, families of those individuals, man. I'm saying, man, God bless them seriously, man. I just want to say they need to get the corruption out and we put new in. They need to send somebody out there and tear that whole system down from the top to the bottom. I'm trying to remove officers out and move them out to other counties. I think the whole place needs to be took down. That's what I think. And bring in new somebody who's going to change it. Say, man, I feel that. I feel that. God bless these people. And. Yeah, have a good night.
It's another episode of On the Phone. On the Phone. On the Phone. First of all, I'm stopping, stopping Hollywood. You're big wrong. I like wrong. to know.